If you've ever wondered how to use the Golden Key by Emmett Fox, in this video I'm going to be sharing exactly how I use it and my experience with the Golden Key. So welcome back to my channel. I'm Mark Phillips and on this channel we we'll talk about business and lifestyle design from the inside out. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing for more videos like this. So the other day I received a message from someone saying that uh, she was new to the golden key and would like to know more information about how to use it, right? Is it like an affirmation? Do you repeat the golden key continually? Or is it work in some other way? And also maybe some examples of how to use the golden key. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my experience. And before I get into the video, I just wanna say that if you get any value from this video at any point in time, please give me a thumbs up. That would be super awesome. I really appreciate it. And also I wanna say that I'm sharing my own experience here, just realize that. So take whatever I say with a grain of salt and integrate it into your life in the way that feels best for you, right? I'm a big fan of looking at a lot of different people talking about you know spirituality metaphysics etc and then seeing what resonates with me and integrating it into my own life because that's the way we truly know we're going to put this idea into our body and say how does this feel to me does this sound right does it feel right does does this seem like something that's true to me right so please take everything i say in, in that uh, understanding so for starters, brief history of Emmett Fox and the Golden Key. If you're not familiar with Emmett Fox and the Golden Key, it's a two-page essay you can find online. Just Google Emmett Fox Golden Key PDF and it'll pull up. And within that two-page essay is one sentence, which is the heart of the Golden Key. And I actually made these Golden Key cards, if it'll focus in there, and I'll read it in a moment. But I put these cards together because I wanted the Golden Key in a simple, easy to carry format because I find it to be such a powerful, effective tool. And the heart or essence of the golden key is this. Stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about God instead. And I should say that I replace the word God with source. And the reason I do that is because throughout human history, lots of people have done a lot of good things in the name of God, and a lot of people have done a lot of bad things in the name of God. And so, that can cause resistance to this tool working. And so for me, and I, I, by the way, I've made a video about that. I'll put a link in the description down below where I talk about replacing the word God with the word source to make the golden key more effective. So if that's something that resonates with you, um, do that as well. That's what I do. So stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about God instead. The way I approach the golden key is I don't approach it from the, from the same level of consciousness or state of mind that I that I would approach it other things in life as as challenges or problems to solve. The golden key is magic to me. Any type of thought tool that is like this, right, that helps us transcend our difficulties or challenges in life, that's magic to me. That that's that's a magic uh, remedy or cure, right? And so, in the heart of the golden key here, you know, the the idea is that when you stop thinking of the difficulty, you're taking your focus and attention off of that problem. The reason that a lot of people create the same experience over and over in their life is they're focused on the problem and not focused on the solution, right? By, by stopping thinking, by stop thinking about the difficulty, you remove your conscious attention from the problem. And even though it doesn't say that in this, I recommend putting your attention on the solution. What what do you want to happen, right? In your relationships or in your health or in your finances, what do you want to happen, right? What what situation and what circumstances and what experiences do you want? So even though the golden key does not talk about that, that's something that I do when I use it is I I'm constantly focused on what I do want to have in my business, in my life, in my relationships. I'm 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 writing about it, I'm scripting it. I'm thinking from that experience, right? As I fall asleep, as I wake up in the morning, as often as I can throughout the day, take a few moments and think about how I would would feel and act and what I would do had if I had the experience that I want. Because we have to plant our flag in that experience, right? Otherwise, we won't be drawn to it, right? Remember that um, human beings create or attract experiences that we're focused on. So when you plant your flag in the experience or circumstances that you want, 
your mind finds a way to help you help you create that and like little avenues open up in your life or ideas come to you or impulses come to you as Abraham Hicks, Hicks talked about but we've got to do the work of identifying what we want right who we want to be what we want to do and what we want to have in life including the things and experiences that we want to have our work is to be the decider right we decide what we want and then this force that flows through us helps us get there you know this co-creative force helps us get there i'm not saying we don't have to take action we do have to take action but it's inspired action based on the ideas or impulses that our higher being or higher self gives us right i'm working on a video right now that i'm going to be releasing shortly out on the youtube channel that talks a lot talks about this idea of co-creating since we're on this topic um you know, if you look at yourself in the human form and in the spiritual form, this space in here is how I believe we co-create, right? This is why our lives don't have to be conditioned upon what's happening in the outer world, right? This is why people can become successful even though they came from very poverty, unsuccessful situations. Maybe their mother and father weren't, su uh, weren't very successful, or maybe they came from very, very dire situations, but they became very successful because human beings don't need our outer experiences to be in a certain way in order for us to create what we want in life. We, we create in a co-creative manner all within ourselves, this little microcosm, right? Our conscious mind, gets the idea hey i want to be this i want to do this i want to have this experience and our subconscious mind helps us do that right this is the co-creative relationship that we have the ability to well this is the co-creative relationship that 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 makes things happen and within this space notice there's nothing about government or family or the town that you live in or the country you live in there's nothing about that in this in this situation this relationship it's an internal situation again conscious mind subconscious mind some people call it outer mind inner mind right or high you know uh, lower self higher self however you want to look at it um the abraham hicks talks about it as inner being and maybe outer being right physical being so that's a video for another time but i just thought it was pertinent to share that with you so these are transcendent tools and the way you approach a tool is going to affect how well that tool works right that's so important if you think this is magic and miracles you're going to get a better result than if you think it's just some oh words on a page and you know all these words in and of themselves don't really mean much to me and i don't know if it's going to work so approach this as if it's a magic and a miracle tool in fact <laughs> the reality is we need to approach in my experience, our whole life is a magical miracle. I mean, if you walk outside in the world and see birds flying and trees growing and squirrels grow, doing their thing, and there's nothing, no wires going to those things, that's magic and miracles, right? If you th live in that state, you're gonna experience a constant flow of magic and miracles into your life. So number one, view this as magic and miracle because the, the way you approach something is gonna affect how it's gonna work for you in your life. The other thing about it is, these are some common ideas that I want to share with you about this. Your intention with the golden key is so critical. Your belief about the golden key is critical. Um, the consciousness you bring to the golden key is critical, right? These are things that affect the, the make the golden key more effective in my experience. And that's all dependent on changing ourselves within, right? Again, when we change what what we think about the world and how we feel about the world and how we think about ourselves we change our experience and so don't approach the golden key as from the same level of consciousness that you would approach uh, other things right this is the great idea that einstein talked about right the level of consciousness you bring to something affects how it's going to work so don't view it in the in like race mind or carnal knowledge mind it doesn't work in that way these are transcendent tools and they're meant to be they're meant to help us transcend or overcome problems and challenges that we have in our life and again by by taking our attention off of that and putting our attention on what we want to have so that's how i use the golden key i don't overthink it 
I don't use it as an affirmation. I do not repeat it as a mantra all the time. I keep this card or this sentence, you know, stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about God instead. I think keep this card by my computer. I keep it sometimes in my wallet. I keep them around the house. I keep them right back here on my little shelf behind me because I kind of look at it as like a training wheel for our mind, right? And the, the more that I think of myself as source or as God, so to speak, right? An expression of source, an expression of God, the more my life gets better, right? And then it allows me to do that work in the world and have no none of the resistance that human beings have, right? Because human beings are constantly thinking, well, well what are they going to think of me? Um, they're either resisting or attaching to, where you're either resisting or attaching to certain things. I mean, there's so much we're pushing, we're pushing so much baggage down the road as we move toward our goals and dreams. If we, if we are working as a human being, as opposed to a spiritual being, enjoying a human experience, it's, we move much faster. It's much more effortless and free to move as a spiritual being, enjoying a human experience as just a human being. I've talked about this in other videos a lot. So that's how I use it. I don't overthink it. I don't get too deep into how it works. And again, like I said, I do not use it as an affirmation. I just constantly bring my attention back to it and, and, and remember it, right? And sometimes it may go days or weeks without looking at the golden key. But like I said, in a perfect world, maybe you have this up on your vision board or your you know success wall, whatever you wanna do. I have a, all these ideas on a wall and a refrigerator in my home. Um, pictures and visions and I, it's kind of a vibration slash vision board all built into one and maybe you tune into that every morning right every morning every evening maybe at lunchtime but again the idea is that you you want to do your work in the world and the idea is that you want to experience life have adventures create things turn thoughts to things you don't want to be bound by this tool but we definitely want to be aware of the tool right so that's how i use it in my own experience um to talk about the examples as this person asked for some examples what happens when i think of the golden key is as i mentioned i'm much more open i'm much i'm a much i'm feeling more uh open and more expressive i have less resistance as i'm doing what i need to do when i think about the golden key because again i'm transcending any challenge or problem that i'm facing and i'm taking my attention off it and put it on my attention on what i want to have happen when you stop thinking about the difficulty, that means you're not talking about it. You're not thinking about it. You're not feeling any resistance about it, right? Stop thinking about the difficulty and think about God or source instead. It's That's, that's exactly how I use it, right? I don't get too deep into like um, the semantics of it. I, I, use, I use these tools, like I say, in a very different way. I'm not overthinking them. I'm not looking at it from a linear logical way. I'm just not thinking about the difficulty. That's as, that's as simple as I can state it. So I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please leave me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. That helps me out. And again, if you like this video and want more videos like this, helping you create more of the experiences you wanna have in your business and your life, please consider subscribing. I wanna also invite you to visit gmarkphillips.com and sign up to my email list. I share a lot of ideas like this with the subscribers on my email list in addition when you sign up you're going to have access to a collection of tools that i call tools for conscious creators and they're just thought tools and spiritual tools to help you create more of what you want in your business and your life i find Tools like this are what human beings need in order to fix our thinking. The idea behind the collection of tools is based on something Louise Hay said, and she said that she never tries to fix problems or situations in her life. She fixes her thinking, and those problems fix themselves. And this is exactly what the golden key is designed to do. So if that's something you're interested in, I want to invite you to go do that, gmarkphillips.com, and you can sign up for my email list there and you'll have access to that collection of tools. And I'll also uh, send you emails that are beneficial and valuable to help you on your journey and support you, right? So be sure to put me on your white list in your email provider. I have instructions on how to do that when you sign up. And so you will all, you will get my emails and they don't go into your spam or your, you know, social media folder, etc. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, all the best, health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.